right, on um, on Father Knows Best, she captured our hearts as the adorable young adorer uh, kitten, yes. uh, Kathy Anderson in The Ideal American Family. As a popular and talented child actress, she made a lasting impression on millions of TV viewers. But then, unfortunately, her, her real home life was a far cry from mm. the Hollywood um, a fairy tale TV family. She reveals this life in her new book, Father Does Know Best. And so help us welcome Lauren Chapin, everybody. Yes, we talked a little through. talked a little bit about yes. um, your life and and the book, and I tell you, it takes your breath away when you read it. it took That's, my breath away having to live through uh, it. I <laughs> bet you did. Yes, it's, it's really miraculous you had any breath left. Mm. True, true. Yeah. There's so much to talk about, but why don't we go back to the early childhood days? Okay. I mean, it looked like uh, you were part of a of a wonderful family unit. You I know. was. Yes. Well, yeah, our Father Knows Best was great. No, I'm talking Even about the real life. Oh, the real one. <laughs> yeah, the real one. <laughs> the real one. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. At the beginning, it looked like that, but then it kind of dissolved. You were uh, shuffled around a lot. And went to well, my school. mother was very ill. Uh, when I was born, she had tuberculosis, so immediately that took me away from her, and I was shuffled to uh, aunts, uncles, and friends. And so the, the bonding... And Kathy, you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. But that bonding is real important. Sure. If you don't have it, then you don't seem to be real close to your to your children or your children close to you. Also, both your brothers were in show business, so your mother was like a backstage mother to them, and she was taking them all over the place, and you felt that she, she really adored them. Well, the she was a frustrated actress. Yeah. She really wanted to be an actress, and uh, because she was so ill and uh, fragile, she wasn't capable of doing it. I took back seat to my middle brother. I was the baby, but he was the star. He was her apple of the eye. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was hard to compete with him. But it was really interesting because he then took back seat to me after I became Kathy Anderson. And I didn't know that his ego had been severely hurt. Sure. Yeah. I mean, he was in direct competition with me. I was getting all the adulation. And here he was, the big actor. Yeah. He was much, much bigger than I ever was. But nobody was paying any attention to no. him. And so his ego kind of got hurt and lots of jealousy, lots of competition. And mother had an alcohol problem as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And then took him to New York to continue uh, his stage career That's here, right? right leaving Three wishes. you uh -huh. alone with, with your dad. Right. So right. from the ages of two to four, you went through some, some abuse. Probably even longer than that, yeah. Regis, because it was not only my father, it was a friend of the family that we called uncle. And he continued to molest me mm. all the way up until I was in uh, third grade. Mm. So here you're getting all of this adulation from the public that doesn't know you. And this kind of treatment personally, privately from people who do know you. you had to trim It did start enormous conflict in you about who you were and why Absolutely. you were here. Absolutely. I had, I, you know, it was very difficult to understand how Kathy Anderson could be loved and protected. Accepted. You know, and Lauren Chapin lived a whole different kind of life. I didn't understand how God could let me suffer through. What had I ever done to deserve this? Right. And there was no one to talk to. There was no one to share your my nanny. secret with. Oh, sure. Did well, you yeah. ever tell your nanny? I'm sorry. No, I never told her. her. I loved her, but I, I, you know, when you're being sexually abused, you feel like you're responsible at no matter what age you are. Mm. <laughs> you know, so... Were you ever able to, um, to uh, forgive your father? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, really, uh, uh, that's in the second book. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, I have been able to forgive him and move on. Because if you don't forgive, it becomes just as much of a sickness as the person who is perpetrating the sickness on you. It's like and a cancer that eats away at you. Yeah, so definitely. it must have really driven you almost crazy because at the age of 11 you attempted a suicide. Yes. But I don't think it was because of the sexual abuse. I attempted suicide because I was a, a manic depressive person personality and part of that was from my mother's alcoholism I believe that while I was in room with her she was a very heavy drinker and so I had mood swings that went up fetal and down. alcohol syndrome that's right. Mm. that's right how old were you when you joined father knows best uh, let me see uh, the very first show I did I was about six and a half and uh, we started filming regularly when I was seven yeah, so it yeah. must have been something to walk onto a Hollywood soundstage with all of these perfect people, you know, yeah. going through the ritual of daily living. And yet they treated you that way, too. They were like oh, a yes. father. Right, exactly. Oh, yes. Oh, 
Absolutely. And then to leave, when shooting was done and they turned the lights out and everybody goes home, and you had to go home to all of that. Yes, but it, but it, was, it was my godsend. You know, working on Father Knows Best was absolutely wonderful. And working with the people that I did, to grow up on a, on a Hollywood studio lot where there were many large actors and actresses, what a wonderful and they, life. And there they all are. And there they are. kid sister to all of them. There's Robert Young and the Jane Wyatt and Eleanor, Eleanor Donahue. Donahue and uh, Billy Gray. Gray. Yeah. Isn't it interesting how we all look alike? <laughs> I mean, we really do. But that was fascinating, know? the story about how Robert Young chose the, all the members of the show, and based on his own daughters, that's the reason you look the most like his real daughter. Absolutely. And Kathy was on our show several times, and uh, we were spitting images. <laughs> <laughs> she said, why can't I do that? You know? <laughs> Well, because Lauren has a job. <laughs> right. Lauren, we're going to pause. We're going to come back and talk some more and show you some more pictures from her new book, Father Does Know Best. Thursday on Live, socialite Ivana Trump. Talking with um, Lauren Chapin, who played uh, Kitten on uh, Father Knows Best about her life, and we've covered the early years. Then came the tumultuous teenage years, and you were mm. married at the age of 16. Yes, yes. Divorced at 18. Yes. Just didn't work out, wrong guy. Well, I think, I don't know. You know, what does a 16-year-old child know from marriage, especially when she's not had any role models? Exactly. The only role model I had was Father Knows Best, and that was somebody's imagination down on paper, you know. Um, Jerry and I got married, and we played house. I wasn't a wife, he wasn't a husband, and uh, I lost eight babies uh, during my marriage to him. And I, I felt very inept as a woman. I, I, everything that I had so desired was being taken away from me. And I, I really felt like God was out to get me. I, I hate to say that because but God wasn't out sure. to get me, but that's the way I felt. You can't help the way you feel. Feelings are just no. feelings. That's right. Married again after that one was uh, gone. As soon as, as soon as I got divorced from my first husband, I married another Jerry. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> watch out for a guy named really? Jerry. <laughs> no, watch out for a couple of guys. Anybody named guys. Jerry in this room? Leave now. Out of here, right now. I watch out. <laughs> So, another guy named Jerry, but that was an old, because you found out he was already married. No, he was already married. That married. is really yeah. rude, you know? That's I rude. thought so, too, yeah. <laughs> and then, I mean, and then you met a fellow who actually brutalized you, yes. turned you into a call girl, I mean... Yes. yes. And, you know, people say, how in the world could Kathy Anderson be a call girl? Real easy. Anybody who's been sexually abused and who has been taught that sex, because e e equated, sex is love. This is what I had been taught. Sex is love. It is not. Sex is sex. Love is love. Sure. They're, they, they're not the and same. And always has been. It, right. And always will be. Yeah. You know, it was easy to fall into that. But what was not so easy is that I lived with this man who tortured me. I mean, literally tortured me emotionally, physically, spiritually. The man that did was a Eddie. number on me. Eddie, yeah. yeah. He did now, you lived with him for about seven years, right? No, I did not. I'm sorry. One year. One year. One year. One year. <laughs> but then who was the guy who, who turned you into drugs? He did. he did. He turned me in. He turned me on to drugs, oh. and I lived with him for a year. I tried to kill him because I wanted him to die. I wanted me to die. I didn't want anybody to have to suffer through this man. What happened is after a year, I left him, but what I could not leave Regis, were the, the heroin, drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you heroin for seven years until you were 25 years of yes. age. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. See, all of this is now she's up to 25 years. Just 25. Oh, yeah, I mean, I look what all she's been through. I couldn't believe it. Well, shall we take a look at some of the pictures in the book here? Because uh, that's how people remember you best. You know, of course, here's little Lauren at the age of uh, two years old. Oh, and precious. look at that face. Aww, and it's all ahead of her. Sweet. You know, the fame, the heartache, everything right there. Yeah. Lauren with uh, her mother now. Uh, this is, uh, you were aged, what, uh, 10? Yeah, yeah, something About like 10, that. About 10, 1954. So. This uh -huh. is a publicity shot with your mom. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Dean Martin. Yeah. And Tony and Curtis. And Tony Curtis. Yeah, they were some of your favorites. And you could tell I was grinning from ear to uh -huh. ear. <laughs> You're about 14 there. Yeah. 